In our news bulletin for this evening, lobbying and discussions continue as the new assembly prepares to elect the Speaker of the House and Premier tomorrow. Niue is gearing up in preparation for a second weekly Air New Zealand flight in May. Niue will be featured in Real Pacific TV series with Robert Oliver and his film crew on the island this week. A week after the national general elections and discussions continue to identify who will lead the country for the next three years. Stanley Kaloni has been nominated for the premier position he was the candidate who topped the polls in the common roll. Incumbent Premier Toketa Langi remains confident that he has the numbers in his favour with the confirmation of the Tsui seat. According to Mr Ta Langi, Caucus has put forward his name for Premier and he is thankful for their confidence in his leadership. Both nominated candidates are well-known businessmen who believe they have what it takes to take Niue through the next three years but this will also be dependent on the numbers and support of their nominations in tomorrow's assembly meeting. There is no doubt that the past few days has been spent lobbying and striking some deals that should be revealing, with only three ministerial posts available and with the allure of associate ministers or acting ministers in the ranks. The 20 members of the new assembly will be sworn in tomorrow and all the speculations can be put to rest once they vote for the Premier, who will in turn select his cabinet ministers within a week. The 15th New Assembly meeting will be held tomorrow and that will also be broadcasted live on Radio Sunshine at 9 in the morning. Niue is gearing up for a busy tourist season with the expected second weekly flight to resume in May. Air New Zealand has exclusively served Niue with a once a week flight and last year a deal was struck between government and the airline to trial a second air service arriving on a fortnightly basis. That proved popular for visitors keen on a short holiday trip to the island. According to statistics from last year, there was a considerable increase in visitor numbers with constraints restricted by the number of accommodation available. The expectation is that numbers will continue to increase and the new Air Chamber of Commerce is also working with the private sector to ensure that the island is prepared for the influx in tourist numbers. However, this year we'll see an increase in flights with two flights each week that should keep those in the tourism industry busy. The second flight will arrive midweek starting on Tuesday the 21st of May until the 22nd of October. The future of the service is heavily dependent on those who use the service and negotiations between the government and the airline. Pacific Island cuisine is proving to be the hottest thing to hit the culinary world as Robert Oliver arrives with his film crew to feature anywhere in the Real Pacific show. Robert Oliver is an award-winning chef who has raised the profile of island food with the release of his first cook, Mea Kei, that won the Best Book Award in the 2011 Gourmet Cookbook Awards. He also has a second cookbook focused on Samoan cuisine and a hit television series, Real Pacific. Robert is on the island with a film crew from Zoom Slide to film on island and we caught up with him today to find out what has inspired him to feature island food so prominently in his work. I was brought up in Fiji and Samoa, so I've got my own, you know, I, I, if, you, if you grow up on pineapples and coconuts, you don't ever really change. You know, you love the stuff you had as a kid, always, even if it's not logical, you still do. So for me, it was... You know, my first book was about Pacific Island, the, you know, the whole region. And it was just about, to me, the story had not been told. And it was such a fantastic story. And I was really keen to integrate it into tourism as well um, in quite a few countries because the menus are not, are not like the Fijian food is not strongly on the tourism menus. And that meant that the local farmers weren't getting the income. So it was about kind of joining the dots economically as well. The untold story of the Pacific through its cuisine has proven that a fusion of modern techniques and age-old traditional recipes continue to fascinate and add value to the whole island experience. Mr Oliver says that the show is one way of drumming up a new appreciation for island food and changing perspectives from westernised dishes available in hotel menus to using more of a local variety. Real Pacific has also been on location in islands like Fiji, Samoa, Vanuatu and the Cook Islands. 
and the show is about more than just food. It also has potential to share culture, heritage, and so much more. You know, professional chefs are not just cookers, cooks. I think they have the capacity to be cultural leaders and economic leaders. And so my work is around that. And I would say don't think of yourselves just as making a, a meal for someone. You're, you're sharing culture, you're exchanging health, you're, um, you're presenting the country. It's, it's a much bigger picture than what's just on the plate when you start looking at it that way. For the week, Robert and his film crew will be capturing some of the unique features of Niue through its food and people, with some classic dishes serving up a surprise. Well, the two like classic dishes I, you know, was given right away, which is the fakaika and the um, taki. How do you say takihi. takihi? That was, I mean, I just thought that was amazing because, you know, first of all, there's not a big range of, of supply ingredients in Niue. It's a fairly small agricultural basket compared to some places, but there's such beautiful food here and made with like very few ingredients but they're all such good quality um i love the faikika i mean there's kind of that is is everywhere around the pacific in some form the fish and the coconut but the kaluku that, that was like a you know i'd never i mean i've seen that growing but i didn't know you could eat it <laughs> so, so you know it's, and it's like everybody's normal food here so it's you know from a from a tourism perspective that's that's the stuff that makes a really compelling tourism brand so you know i look at that and i think wow i want to go there to try that i think and i think that's what the show when the show about new way comes up that's what's going to happen well first of all we're going to do season three of royal pacific because that that's just that's just really hit its stride it's going to um 70 countries internationally so yeah so the story from new way you know when it's released next year is really going everywhere but i've also decided to do a pacific island restaurant in auckland um, it's the Pacific Island, you know, the capital of the Pacific Islands, they say, and, but there's no big Pacific Island restaurant, so I'm going to do that. And I think that's going to change the perception around what Pacific Island food is. There's a bit of a perception that it's unhealthy, and of course it's just not. Um, so, yeah, that's a big project for me later this year. With exciting projects and plans ahead, we asked Robert about his perception of Niue and what it has to offer. I'd never been here before. This was my first time to Niue. So it gets under your skin. I mean, it's very. I, I, I really want to come back and spend time here, not not working, because it, it's so um, it's so unique. I mean, you know, I, I hadn't really understood how unique it was. I, I guess I had other Pacific Islands as my point of reference, but there's so much here that's really interesting and very special and distinct. That uh, to me, there's nowhere like New Way. This is this is a whole new experience for me. So, I, you know, I was looking forward to coming here, but it's, it's gone way beyond my expectations. It is likely that the segment featuring Niue will be showcased next year with an international audience of about 70 countries. Real Pacific has also just been announced as a finalist in the New York International TV Awards. And we would like to wish Robert and his crew all the best while on island and in sharing the story of the Pacific to the world. That concludes our news bulletin for this evening. Do join us again for our next news bulletin on Thursday.